Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to look at how you can enforce principles of least privilege in our PAM 360 solution for both local accounts and domain accounts. Um, in our previous videos, we've already covered uh, how you can onboard devices into our PAM solution, how you can share devices to other users, or how you can share a single account of a device to another user and all of it. So in this video, we're going to talk about how you can share a particular account and uh, allow the user to have the least privilege by default. And then when required, the user will be able to elevate the account to the higher privilege. So for example, in this machine, I have an account called guest. Um, it's a read-only account. So if someone were to log into the machine with that guest account, they will not be able to do any administrative tasks. So I can share this account with another user and I can provide various permissions, obviously. So when that user logs into PAM solution, they will be able to see that machine, but only the guest account. So they will not be able to see the administrator account. This is fine. Now we've given them the least privilege, meaning the user can get inside that box, launch an RDP session maybe, but all they can do is read only activity. Now, let's say the user needs admin rights for an hour. Now, how do they get that? So for that, you can go to account actions and configure access control option. Now, this is the feature that we've already talked about in our previous video. It basically brings in the request approved workflow so the user have to put a request and admin has to approve the request for the access to be granted but on top of this workflow we also have this privilege elevation option where you can choose a local group in that machine so for example local administrator group so the the concept is when the user requests and an admin approves the guest account will be automatically elevated into the local admin group for the configured time frame. So if the user requests access for one hour, instead of giving them this administrator account and password, we will basically take this guest account, add it into the local admin group of that machine. So the user already have access to the guest account, but the guest account only had read-only rights. But now when they request and get the approval, this guest account literally becomes a local admin by being part of that local admin group for that temporary time frame. And after the time frame expires, we will automatically remove this guest account out of that local administrator group. So this is for local accounts. So obviously any Windows machine, if you select, you will find local accounts present in that machine. Uh, these accounts were discovered from that machine. So you will be able to share a non-admin account and give them read-only access, which will be the least privilege. And when required, you can have them go through a workflow to get admin rights. Now the same concept can be applied even for domain accounts. So in PAM, all the domain accounts are stored under this Windows domain resource. Similar to local accounts, let's say you have uh, uh, an IAS account and uh, this IAS account is shared with a group of users and it's a read-only account on a normal day. Same concept applies where you can go to access control, you can go to policy configuration and basically set up the groups to which you want this account to be automatically elevated. Now for local accounts, PAM automatically has the capabilities to locally elevate users into the local user groups and, uh, and then demote them. But for Active Directory accounts, because PAM has to actually take this user, add it into a domain group, probably a, a security group in domain, PAM cannot do it directly. So you're gonna need to have our Active Directory management solution integrated with PAM 360. So you can supply your AD manager URL, port number, and then enable it. And once you enable it, PAM will be able to elevate domain users and domain accounts automatically into domain groups. So this is how you can uh, have the principles of least privilege configured uh, inside PAM and how you can automatically elevate users uh, into local groups or active directory groups as and when they are required.